Megan Brinker was diagnosed with melanoma, a form of skin cancer, at only 27. In the U.S., melanoma is on the rise at an alarming rate, especially in young women. I thought back to those, you know, really bad burns that you have and the, the tanning that you did. Probably if I would have covered up more and not gone to the tanning beds before prom, maybe this would have never happened to me. There has been recent data that is very um, strong data that has linked tanning bed use to the development of melanoma, that it increases your risk for melanoma development by 75%. People, particularly young people, don't get it. This is a cancer that can kill you, and by many ways, it is preventable. At the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine, Dr. Lynn Cornelius recommends a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30, hat, sunglasses, and protective clothing, as well as getting an initial screening by a dermatologist. You know the signs of skin cancer, a mole that's changing, a dark spot that hasn't been there before, something that's irregular. Early detection is the best treatment and the best cure for melanoma. Education about skin cancer is vital. The Unique Spots program has reached over 18,000 area teenagers. Medical students like these from Washington University teach them about the dangers of sun exposure, tanning beds, and ways to protect against skin cancer. You never think that it's going to happen to you, but it can happen to anyone. Once melanoma has spread, traditional chemotherapies have had little, if any, success. Physicians at Siteman have been researching new detection and treatments, as well as using targeted therapies that now offer hope where there was none. But the best bet is to be proactive at every age. Sunscreens have been proven time and time again to decrease the incidence of all types of skin cancers.